Hi guys, I have an interesting math Olympiad problem for you all, which is a radical problem, square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus and so on equals to what? Now, what we are going to do is, the first step is to assume or suppose that this whole term is equal to x. Let x is equal to square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus and so on it continues now the second step would be squaring both sides so when we square both sides what happens this is the equation 12 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus and so on so square both sides so when we square both sides this root and square gets cancelled. Here we have x square is equal to 12 plus we have the same old thing 12 plus square root of 12 plus and so on. Now if you see this part, this part, this whole thing square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus and so on is the same thing what we have taken here which is equal to x so now let's substitute it back x square is equal to 12 plus x now bring all the terms one side we get x square minus x minus 12 is equal to 0 now it's a quadratic equation we can use the product sum rule to simplify your product should be negative 12 and your sum should be negative 1. So what are the factors we can take is x square 4 and 3. So we can take minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 is equal to 0 because minus 4x plus 3x gives negative x and negative 4x times negative 3x gives negative 12x squared. Now Let's see if we can split the equation. Yes, we can take out the greatest common factor from here. Yes, x. And we are left with x minus 4. Plus, now from here we can take out 3. So we are left with x minus 4, which is equal to 0. Now here we have x minus 4, x minus 4 common. So we are going to take that out. x minus 4. So we are left with x from here and plus 3 is equal to 0. So we got two factors x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus 3 is equal to 0. So if x minus 4 is equal to 0 x is equal to plus 4. This is one solution for x. Another solution is x plus 3 is equal to 0. When we solve x is equal to negative 3. This is another solution but as it is negative it has been rejected. This is the correct solution. X is equal to 4. So I hope you like this session. You can write your suggestions in the comment box. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care.